You made an invention and consider filing for a patent application? In this video, I'll discuss tackling drafting a novel independent claim using my copy holder as an example. In case you have not seen the how-to video regarding the copy holder yet, I recommend clicking the link in the description below. The first time you make an invention is thrilling and you immediately think of making use of it by protecting it. In case you truly believe in the impact of your invention, please do not draft the patent application on your own or you will likely end up making mistakes impossible to undo. If you understand this and agree, please follow me on an exciting journey from the problem of a sore neck to an independent claim defining the core idea of the copy holder. The core idea I came up with was positioning the file only centimeters above the keyboard and revealing the keyboard as soon as same is needed. I like to call this abstract idea the spark or gist of an invention. The spark does not necessarily define an apparatus, a substance, a method or a usage. It rather defines the most general idea or spirit of the invention. In order to get a patent, we need to draft an independent claim defining the technical solution. This solution is either a product or a method. The most general corresponding claim categories are apparatus, substance and method. Is the copy holder a substance? No. Is it a method? Not really. Is it an apparatus? Apparently. Hey, we just successfully defined the category of our independent claim. That was not too difficult, right? The independent claim defines those features of the invention which are needed in order to define the difference over any prior art subject matter. In other words, at least one respective feature of our claim has to establish novelty over any previously known solutions. Since too many features in our claim would make bypass solutions easy, we try not to introduce any unnecessary restrictions to the scope of the claim, so-called non-essential features. In order to identify the essential features of the apparatus, it helps to take a look at all the embodiments. Every embodiment comprises a file support, the structure the file directly rests on when moving from the one position to the other position. You end up with a very tidy and easy to read claim when you define the structural features of the apparatus first and explain their interrelation afterwards. So let's start our list. Apparatus comprising a file support. Since the motion of the file has to be guided when moving from the first position to the second position, somehow a base resting on the desk has to be an essential feature as well, right? In order to differentiate the base from any base, like the desktop itself, let's introduce the feature that the base is adapted for being located on the desktop. Let's check. Does our claim define a novel apparatus? Apparently not since there are prior art copy holders showing both features and thus falling within the definition of the claim. So we need some more features. According to our Spark, the horizontal motion of the file is facilitated by the fact that the file support is guided by the base in a horizontal direction. Let's introduce also that feature. Let's check again. Is our claim novel? Novel in light of this prior art because of the horizontally guided motion. However, this embodiment of the prior art shows a guidance which can be brought into an almost horizontal configuration. In this configuration, it anticipates the claimed subject matter. Let's take a closer look at the differences. The prior art provides a guidance, the inclination of which can be adjusted, whereas our invention provides an inclination and at the same time a horizontal guidance. The horizontal guidance in combination with an inclined file support therefore is not only an essential feature but it also establishes novelty in light of this prior art. So if we add this to the claim we are basically done and our claim reads apparatus comprising a file support and a base wherein the base is adapted for being located on a desktop and the base is adapted to guide a horizontal motion of the file support while the file support is arranged to hold the file in an inclined position. Apparently we are new with introducing the ultimate feature. 
Such subject matter does not exist in the prior art as we know it. This is a prerequisite for patent protection all over the world. In the next video we will discuss a further requirement to be satisfied by our claim. The inventive step. Check out our website for more information and videos under höfer-pat.de. Thank you for watching and see you soon at the Höfer Academy.